Angela. Well, it's hosted everything from Metallica to Disney Eyes, the circus, and today leaders in North Charleston will celebrate a very big birthday for the North Charleston Coliseum. Our Stephanie Bainham is there live with more on the big day and the celebrations. Stephanie, good morning. Good morning, John. We are celebrating a big day here and a big birthday. The North Charleston Coliseum turns 20 years old today. And if you live in the Low Country, you mostly, most likely, have come here to see an event or a show or a Stingray's hockey game. And you are just one of over 8 million people who have come through these doors since opening day. And now to tell us more about the special celebration is Alan Coker of the North Charleston Coliseum. Welcome, Alan. Thanks for being with us. Good morning. Thanks for being out here. Of course. So first of all, tell us about what y'all are doing to commemorate this 20th year? Well, we've created a series of videos uh, with local politicians, uh, media, uh, Rob Kincannon of the Stingrays, Darius Rucker, Mayor Summy, uh, asking them to share their favorite memories over the last 20 years at the Coliseum. We've also got a series of videos with our, our full-time staff members sharing their memories, and we encourage the community to go to our Facebook page or Twitter page and share their favorite memories, their favorite shows over the last 20 years. And definitely, I think everyone can remember a great moment here. So tell us about yours. What's your favorite memory? Wow, there's been so many. Um, and I, but I think there are two shows, two concerts that keep rising to the top for me. One was the Prince concert in March of 2011, and the other is Bruce Springsteen and the E Street Band from August of 2008. Both were just jam-packed. Everybody was on their feet the entire night. The electricity in the building was just amazing, and uh, both... Both shows were just incredible. Man, dynamite performances there. And tell us, what do you think this building has brought to the low country in terms of the economy and just overall community? Well, I think uh, what we talked about a moment ago, the videos, the memories, the North Charleston Coliseum memories, everybody who's come through the building has a memory here, or, or many memories here, from concerts to Stingrays games to basketball games to graduations to uh, just all types of events. Um, so I think that's what it's really about. It's about the community, it's about the memories, and, and we're looking forward to another great 20 years. I know, and speaking of, what's in store, you know, in the near future and maybe 20 years down the line? What do you hope for? Well, in the immediate future, we have Rascal Flats, on February 14th. We have Cirque du Soleil coming up uh, in March. We have some uh, lots of Stingray hockey games. The next home game is February 8th. And then there are going to be some announcements coming up in the next few weeks of some bigger concerts coming up later this year. Well, thanks, Alan. We look forward to hearing those. Thank you for sharing your memories. And there you have it, folks. 20 years, hopefully 20 years plus in the future of more great memories. Back to you, John. All right. Thank you, Stephanie. Tom, Rascal Flats. Plus. February 14th, Valentine's Day. We're there, baby. Sounds good to me. Our coverage of the Coliseum anniversary is part of our Your Neighbors series. We're going to be featuring stories about North Charleston all week long. You'll learn about the city's history and the latest happenings. And we'll broadcast our evening shows from Park Circle this Thursday. And in the coming months, we'll head to other Low Country locations. So please keep your eyes peeled.